Frail Fragment is a music podcast, but we talk about movies, entertainment, sports, whatever's on our mind, open stream of consciousness, in awareness, and make things, making it a little comical on the side. Frail Fragments, Monster Classes. Hello. Hey. Hey, bro. We're back. In black. What's happening, man? Oh. Uh, Wednesday, December, uh, what is it, 13th? Sad. Nobody cares about the date. No, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm segueing into that. So, what happened to your day? Right? It's just, it's just started. It's only 7:18. It's not even snowing. My TV of 17 years finally crapped out on me. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Well, you have an LG, right? Best TV you can buy. I, I think it is. I think that uh, you gotta thank your lucky stars because I've gone through three set, two Samsung curves in the last six years. Yeah, Samsung's and, the worst. And I would ha- I would say that uh, don't buy them. They're good quality, like the, the picture quality, but every they break down. Well, my wife put dropped the vacuum, and it kind of hit the TV and just destroyed it all. Well, I don't even think an LG can handle that. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But I mean, I, I'm sure this new one that we got, like a few years ago, it's not going to last 17 fucking years. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Red's had a bad bad couple of weeks, man. I feel really bad for him. Yeah, that and like three thousand dollars in car repairs, and the TV. Yeah, that was sentimental value. And that TV yeah. has seen every girl I've ever banged. Almost. <laughs> Does it have a camera? Is it a smart TV? <laughs> no, no, it, 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 it was just before smart TV came so, out. You have some guy in the fucking Oval Office jerking off to your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's watching out there. Have you seen That's that movie? Weird. Like, dude, we talked about that movie yesterday for uh, that new Julia Roberts movie. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. What's it called? I can't even remember what it's called anymore. It's an obscure name, but you got to check that movie out, man. That movie's amazing. I chose to watch Adam Sandler's Pixels instead. Hey, I'll check it out, though. Well, it's it's uh, it's early today. We just, we're just we uh, getting a, a jump start on the day. Looks like it's going to be nice out today. It's not snowing or anything. My work has a work party for us. You know what that means? Uh, free food? They order two fucking party-sized pizzas. They buy nice. a fucking case of water, and that's it. And they nice. say, go go to town. But it's better than nothing. Because, <coughs> bless you. Yeah. It's better than nothing, right? Yeah. Because before, we got jack shit. Our manager's retiring, but going back, Red, Red spent a, a small fortune on his car uh, in the last uh, little while here. You know, he, he has a Volkswagen, and, you know, the word around the campfire, you know, for the last, all my friends that get Volkswagen, even my insurance fucking company, was saying to go Volkswagen, because you'll say that's the cheapest in insurance, but when it breaks down, you're gonna they're going to fuck you. The parts are expensive. It's like three times the price for parts. And Red, I'm gonna write you. I'm, I wrote a little song, and I'm gonna play it um, maybe after the podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'll play it after the podcast about right. you and your little situation. Live? No, it's not gonna be live. I, like uh. this. This is a yeah. I know. This is a a work in progress, man. I'm not. I'm not smart enough to do that shit right now. You know what I mean? I'm on my fucking cell phone talking to you. Yeah. But it's nice to check in with uh, with Red from mcd studios this is the this we were we did the red and lens show for like 12 episodes 13 episodes and red really did crush it and uh i hope to have brock on the show because brock really wants to talk to red and and meet him and we all want to talk about how much he spent on his fucking car in the last two weeks as well <laughs> yeah great, great but, but uh no you need you need the thing is a car is the worst investment you can make but you need it to, it's a tool. You need it to, if you're working full time and you need to work, and you work like 17 hours a fucking day, <laughs> yeah. you need, you start at 5 a.m. You need a car, right? You can't be taking the bus and shit like that because you'll no. never be home. Yeah, I need to save time wherever I can. 
Hey, bro. So, uh, anything new and exciting uh, for the weekend coming up? What do you get? What are you oh, doing? Actually, speaking. Of, sorry, speaking of cars, there's a guy at my work. Yeah. His car must have like eight hundred thousand kilometers, and he swears to never let it go. He the wheels are falling off. And Toyota Tercel or what? I I believe that's the car. Some oh, holy a, fuck! A Good guess. Or something. Yeah. yeah, those are the cars you still see on the road, right? That the Toyota Tercel or the Corolla, right? I wish I bought one twenty years ago. I know, man. Those are nice. But for me, it was Hyundai because I had a Prelude. The first car I had, I listened to my my fucking dad, who's not the brightest fucking bulb in the fucking thing. But uh, we drove all the we drove all the way to like the West End, and it was a Prelude for like thirteen hundred bucks. It you couldn't even drive the fucking thing. Okay, my dad looks at me with the stupidest fucking look, and he's like, "You know what? You should buy this car." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So I bought it, and it was like, you know, to get that car on the road, I got fucking ripped off by a bunch of fucking Chinese motherfuckers at Guilford Auto in Scarborough. Don't go there; they're like fucking prelude specialists that rip you the fuck off if you're a white boy. But they put that put a transmission because it needed a transmission. So I bought a used transmission. And it was shit, and they put it in, laughing about it. And I couldn't get out of the fucking dealership. Okay. I had to tow it, but to 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 my wife's the first. dad's buddy Edgar Talavera I had to bring it to the Spanish connection, nice. and he he fixed the car up, got it running. But little did I know there was a fucking um, crack in the head gasket. Oh shit. So, I mean, the car with the coolant was going through the car. It was just a nightmare, dude. Like, that car must have cost me, like, $6,000 at the end of the day. But my point is, after that car, I made up for it. Like, I had a girl that I worked with. Her dad uh, was a mechanic, and she sold me a fucking 2006 Hyundai uh, Hyundai Accent that had, like, it had next to nothing on it as kilometers, like a hundred, like maybe eighty kilom, eighty thousand kilometers. I got it for thirteen hundred bucks. This oh, thing was oh, a fucking lot. This thing was a lawnmower, like a one point six engine, and it was indestructible, man. Like at the, I drove it for a. <clears throat> this was about ten years ago, <clears throat> or a little over ten years ago. But I drove it for like five years, let's say. And I replaced everything on that car slowly. Like the radiator went, I replaced it. My AC went, I replaced it. The, the window motor went, and I replaced that, I think. But other not, than not that... like an older Hyundai, yeah. Other than that, this car was would still be probably driving today. It was the best car I got. And that car did me so well. I didn't want to do Hyundai dirty, and I don't have money, so I bought a Hyundai Elantra. Not as good as the Accent. It slides more in the, in the you know, inclement weather conditions. I like the uh, accent more, but this is a little bit more spacious. I have a, you know, it's a sedan. I have a fucking family. Uh, and the next car I'm going to buy is the Santa Fe, I think. So yeah, yeah. just going to stick with Hyundai until I win the fucking lottery. I played cash. Uh, I played, uh, I won $30 on cash for life. I buy a cash for life ticket every time I, f- I fill up with gas. Yeah. But uh, I played the Princess Margaret lottery uh, two times a year. I think it is maybe three. I think it's two. And I didn't win the grand prize, I believe. I think they already had the draw, so I'm not eight point three million dollars richer. And my sister in law actually work, works for them. And she's saying it's not eight point three million for all you ticket buyers out there. That's what they because there's a, like all the shit in the house is really nice stuff. So they appraised that at like a million dollars or something too. Plus the market's all fucked up now. She's like, You're only gonna get like five million dollars for that price. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's still good. Yeah. Perk that I'm not. I, I'll not tell my work anything. It just won't show up anymore. My thing is, I'm very. I guess for okay, with five million, you would invest two, I guess. So then you got three million, and then buy a house and a cottage, and you know, I guess you're you're done, right? But I would like to have, I'd like to have a little condo in, uh, in Marco Island, Florida, man. I was looking today, there's a million dollars. Well, I was looking yesterday, for a million bucks Canadian, you can get a one-bedroom, one-bathroom on the beach, man. Like, it's just gorgeous, bro. But it's expensive. But I'm telling yeah, you, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, that's the nicest place I've ever been, man. That's the fucking place. But it, it, it seems like Americans don't like Florida for some reason. Like, they wouldn't move there. Yeah, it's because it's but full every- of fucking... It's just a huge party full of fucking 
Colombians and cu- illegal Cubans and the best looking people fucking there hiding up. Then you have your shit kickers that fucking ride alligators into fucking work. Yeah, I, of course, I guess people another, don't like it there. It's fucking another, retarded. Yeah, another problem would be you just chilling in your backyard and an alligator walks up to you. They didn't even have they didn't even have a COVID lockdown, dude. They, like every single even the alligators got fucking COVID there. That's how many people did not care. They were just partying the whole fucking time. It sounds like my kind of place. Yeah, it was no like COVID Texas. COVID lockdown? It's amazing. I, I don't think there, there, if there was, it wasn't for long because people were too drunk to fucking listen over there. I, I went there. Know, I don't what? know what the COVID numbers are now, but I'm sure they're just as bad as they used to be. No one cares. That's what they are. Now. No. <laughs> and we're all living fine. Exactly. Well, I thought I was going to die, actually, at the beginning of December, man. I had some fucking... I thought I had COVID, but I tested for it, and it wasn't COVID. But who knows? It could have went around the fucking... It could have been a new variant that went around the test. Yeah. It's all bullshit at the end of the day. They shouldn't have locked down anything. No. I know some people that had it, like, five times now, and they're just used to it. It doesn't even bother them. Yeah, same. I know a guy, a Jehovah's Witness guy, who goes to fucking meetings and shit. He's <laughs> got it, like, a lot of times, bro. Yeah, those door-to-door guys. And he was saying that now it's just, like, nothing. Like, he just feels a little, like, off. Yeah. And he has COVID. That's fine. That's how many fucking times he has had COVID. You know what I mean? Definitely. But you you remember, like, when we're in it to win it. Like, when we were doing the fucking Red and Len show. And it was a different time back then. But no one gives a fuck now. Um, And we all got to have respect for each other. And that's what it is, bro. You got that right. Hey, bro. So, what are you doing this weekend? Um, I think I'm gonna edit the red or the red and gents gents show. show. What? I think. I think we're calling it Kings and Queens, our board game channel. Kings and Queens, I like better than the red and gent. You know what I mean? I think we're calling it Kings and Queens. Hey, bro. That sounds like a fucking plan, bro. Yeah, it's a good name. Well, just uh, just to kind of... This is Frel Fragment's Monster Closet. Um, I always wanted to do a show, a Monster Closet show, where I just play, like, bands. Yeah. And, uh, and I wanted to call it Monster Closet back in the day. But then YouTube threw me, booted me off, and, like, I got in trouble because I was playing, like encrypted songs because I was play, I, like I tried playing the doors on the show and they're like fuck nope. no no <laughs> instant it, there's bots that catch that shit in one second that's crazy bro yeah you can't do it but uh so now I'm just I'm doing the monster closet podcast which is which is cool and I really like the way uh, the format it's just like me on a cell phone talking for like 15 20 minutes with a guest or a couple of guests I think a full boat is maybe like four guys tops um and you yeah, know it it's it's hit or miss like sometimes the guests can't come on or they're busy or this and that and the other thing so we just kind of like jump on quick when we can do something yeah and that's it this this uh friday i'm taking my kids to pioneer village well i'm taking El- uh, idalia has a school trip rather yeah. so i got the day off and i'm gonna go with my wife miro we're gonna we're going to drive there and the kids are going to be in the school bus. They won't let you ride in the school bus anymore if you're going on a school trip with the with the class, which is crazy. So right. I don't know. But uh, so we're going to drive to Pioneer Village on Friday. We got to pay full price to get in, which is fine. And then just create core memories with my What's data. What's Pioneer Village though? What is Pioneer Village? You've never been there? No, I haven't heard of it at all. You know... Pioneer Village. In years. Okay, so it's at uh, <laughs> it's near York University. Yeah. Is that like Steeles and uh, oh, it's not far. Jane or Keel? Yeah. Black Creek and Steeles. I don't know. Yeah. And it's uh, it's like it's I guess a farm that has been restored, but it, they they everyone that's there is acting like they're in 19, 1860 or some shit like that. Oh, that's cool. There's That's like at the uh, Ford Museum in Detroit. Hey, Michigan. Bro. They all act like they're, that's it's really cool. They're so, like they're, 1840s. so they're doing like Christmas in the 1840s. That, that's the theme at Pioneer Village uh, during the Christmas season, right? Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, and then that night I'm going to see Meshuga. 
Oh, that'll be fun. Taking my brother for his for his Christmas present. I'm going with J Rock, Justin. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, man. We're gonna do that. And then this weekend, I have no idea what we're doing. I can't. There's something going on. I just can't remember, man. But uh, I'm I'm just looking forward to uh, the Miss Sugar Show. Oh, I'm jamming on Sunday. I'm jamming with Pharrell Fragment on Sunday. Oh, nice. It's cool Miss Sugar's still around after all these years. Yeah, they've been around since, like, 1989, I think. That's nuts. But they changed their, their, like, they changed their sound in, I would say, 98. Yeah. 98, they just completely changed their sound into, like, I guess math metal. I don't know what you call it, but it's just. You have to count. Yeah, it's just like to, but just to play their their music. I had a feeling that they naturally write their music like that, and I was right. They actually do like just hear music that way. But for a normal musician to figure that shit out, they have to write that shit down, man, because it's just too fucking. It's like learning a solo note for note, except for it's just the verse. You have to learn note for note. <laughs> they change a lot of like they change a lot of their parts on two, you know, and it's just like. Most bands change on four or on one. These guys will change confusing. like two and then the, or they'll go like, they'll change on one and then the next time they'll change on two and then the next time they'll change on three and the next time they'll change on four and then they'll go back to one. So it's yeah. just, it's just, uh, it's, it's really cool, man, because it's heavy, right? They're using like fucking eight string guitars and the drum, drummer Thomas Hake is like the best drummer ever, right? Like he's my drummer god. Yeah. Um, you know, even like Danny Carey fucking de- bows down to that guy, man. I don't know how they remember all their songs though throughout the years. I'm sure their songs they don't play anymore because yeah, they just pick it's so like complicated to f- play their music. Yeah, they play like their hits, and then they play like maybe five songs that they that learn, are new. That, oh, yeah. that they well, they put no, they play five new songs. Okay, then they play f- five songs that they 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 want to play. And then they play their hits. Yeah. Right? So that's pretty much what... And then they're doing that shit every night. So, like, they're doing the same thing every night. They might swap in or out one song. I like. To, I wonder what they think about playing, like, a Green Day song. Like, if it's just too boring. Oh, that, that would be completely fucking boring for them. It's like four <laughs> yeah. chords. Yeah. Pharrell Fragment, uh, we've applied for Oshiega that's in Montreal, and Green Day are closing that show, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed so we get to play that. Or just, cool. a fe- just a just fe- a festival, right? I want to do, like, Sound of Music really badly in Burlington. Burlington, yeah. That's so I'm, I'm contacting the curators there now, and, like, uh, Super Crawl through Sonic Onion and Hamilton. You'll and like that one. I like the stage setup where it's facing the water. You're facing the water. Sound of Music? At the Sound of Music, yeah. Yeah, and they had the... Uh, What's that band called? Uh, I am Mother Earth. I think closed that show last year, and I saw them with Tea Party a few months, a couple of months ago, and it was a really cool, nostalgic feeling. I took Miro. We had a good time, man. Yeah. They played uh, the concert hall. They they reopened that place, which was I think the Masonic Temple at Young and uh, Davenport. Yeah. I saw Rusty there in grade nine, dude, and it was I like. I heard of them. Rusty? They're like no. a old fucking Toronto band. You know what I mean? Nobody's heard of them. Hey, bro. Well, misogyny is like their hit. So if you want to YouTube Rusty Misogyny, it's a cool song. Must have been a top uh, one thousand. It was on the, in the top thirty on much music for sure for for a little for a week or two. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just knew somebody. Um, that's like everyone, man. You gotta yeah, get into true. that network, right? You gotta get into that fucking network, that's and we're true. trying to do that. We're playing the Horseshoe on Saturday, uh, January sixth, with uh, Star Beast, Harley Olivia, and Mobius Radio. Which, Mobius Radio are connected. What? Wasn't that the one that uh, Biff Naked uh, uh, said no to? She couldn't do it. I. She didn't even respond. <laughs> but you know who did respond? The drummer from Danko Jones. Network. You gotta get in that network, man. Yeah, the drummer from Danko Jones responded, and he started laughing. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, good luck with your show. Oh, that's nice. (laughs) But but I offered him, like, all of the money from the door, and he just laughed. Damn. Because they're playing Germany now, right? They're a really good band. They're doing really well. And I, you know, and they're with Sonic Onion in Hamilton. So I'm, I'm knocking on Sonic Onion's door and they're doing, Super Crawl is the festival in Hamilton. So I want to get into that too, right? 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Red, we're gonna check in with you uh, again before Christmas. But uh, if if it doesn't happen and you're uh, busy driving truck, I just want to say happy holidays to you. Oh, thanks, man. And your girl Jen. Um, no, I'm nice. very excited to hear the Red and Jen King and Queens. Yeah. Show. It's gonna be. Lit. It's a board game that talks. It's a it's a how to board humor. game entertainment. Um, podcast video exactly. podcast it, ba- it basically is and i'm um, sitting on my hands with the red and lens show i'm being patient with that because you got to kind of know the cameras and everything well, like that too right actually i was thinking i don't know if you have time over the holidays if you want to do a video yeah video i'm on vacation podcast. next week man all right about to do something and i said i'm fucking available every sunday you know what i mean yeah all righty but i get it like i mean time is precious when you what, what? get sick of your, you know, your situation and you're bored, <laughs> give me a call and we'll do a fucking Red and Len show podcast at MCD Studios. There's going to be a Red and Len video show yeah. by the end of the year. Hey, bro. Okay, so you heard it here, Red. This is uh, an exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Big news. Yeah. Big Red, news. There's going to be a Red and Len video podcast. Episode one will be filmed before the new year. You, you heard it here, folks. Yeah. Okay, we're logging off uh, December Wednesday, December 13th. Have a good day, folks. This is the Monster Closet. Peace. My poor TV. All right. I wish you could get your car fixed for cheaper, for cheaper, but you decided to buy a Volkswagen for cheaper on insurance. Keep your head up today. Frail Fragments Monster Classics.